afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Van Wazel. I'm Mary Bensel, Executive Director of the Hall, and I'm here with Julia Mays, our fantastic marketing director. Well, thank you, and Mary. And we have some great news. Now, of course, this show is taped, so you know you may have already heard this, but for us, it's brand new. We're bringing American Idol to the to the Van <gasps> Wazel, the big tour, which is normally in arenas this year, is doing a theater, and actually, we're one of the smallest venues. I mean, there is a 15,000 seat Coliseum tour up in New York. They're in Philadelphia, all over the country. But we were lucky because Sam Wolf, here from the oh, Sarasota Bradenton, Bradenton yeah. area, he's a Bradenton uh, young man. And you've been watching the show a lot. Yeah, yeah. And we were just, we were talking earlier. You know, I, I always thought I, a favorite of mine was always Ricky Nelson. And I always said, Gosh, he looks like a young little Ricky Nelson. And sure enough, Harry Connick Jr. said that. Now, did he last know week. who Ricky Nelson was? No, he did not. They I had bet to look it up. They, <laughs> none of them knew who it was except one girl, and I think that was Majesty, only because she followed music so much. But she, they had him look it up on the computer while he was in with a, in their room. And but he's he's, he's been like, fantastic oh. on the show, and um, so it's the top ten, and they will yep. be here July seventeenth, and tickets go on sale I think May nineteenth. May 9th. Oh, is it May 9th? Yep. And um, it's going to be all 10, so it's going to be fantastic. And I think this is this is a real highlight because we don't normally do shows in the summer. No. And so we're, we're thrilled with that. And, of course, we have another summer show, right? Yes, yes. We have Move on Tour, which is very exciting. Some of your favorites, Julianne and Derek Huff, which yes, from Dancing with oh the Stars. Oh, my gosh. Yep. And Julianne, of course, then went on to be, you know, a, a movie, well, star. movie star. She starred in Footloose and Burlesque and... Um, uh, show um, one of the Nicholas Spark movies with Josh Demel and they're just I've seen Derek Huff dance on Broadway yes. and let me tell you obviously I'm a female and Derek Huff is one of the most gorgeous guys around and and of course our, the males in our office are also very excited about um, Julianne. Julianne coming but um, it's, it's gonna be exciting now we didn't even put an ad out and we sold almost the whole evening show out and it's June 15th Father's Day and so we've added a second performance, and it's... Which is also which selling very it's selling quickly. selling really well. So, you know, if you haven't got your tickets, you should get them now. Get them now. Yep. You know, hopefully there will still be some. And, and what we're, Chef Madison is doing is we have that beautiful outdoor patio and the grand foyer, and he's going to do a Father's Day brunch before the show. So it which should be... That, that's very exciting. I know. It should be yeah. a fun day It'll here at the Van Wazel, and I'm so thrilled to, and to meet people. them. And young people. A lot of yeah. young people and, and great dancers. And both of them are mirror ball winners. Yes, they are. The he's stars. won like five or six. And yeah. he's dancing this year with, with a girl that, that is physically challenged, that, that doesn't yes. have either of her legs. That's right. And, you know, it, it does make you want to cry because, you know, I couldn't begin to do any of that. And I have two legs. And here is this fantastic lady, you know, dancing like that. And um, more credit to her. And Derek, of course, is an Emmy Award winning choreographer. So I yeah. think they picked the right guy, I think they you did know, too. for her. So anyway, that's June 15th for Move and July 17th for American Idol Tour. Yeah. So I'm Very excited. Very fun. Very and fun. then, of course, also this summer, we're really busy with Friday Fest. Again, I have to warn you, it's one of those things that our staff we don't enjoy it as much as everybody that does because it's a lot of work and it's hot outside. But when we have fantastic, beautiful days like we did last summer, even the staff was thrilled with yeah, Friday Fest. I think Fest. once we get out there, it's pretty exciting, especially when you see such a great um, oh, we, audience a come out. And it's a huge turnout. Well, there's nowhere better to see a free show on You're the bay. On the bay, you see the sunsets. I mean, our favorites is when that wedding chapel floats down by yes. us. Yes, you know, <laughs> and we have some great bands picked out and. For, for every year I've been here, we've had this one band. We've had uh, Yesterdays, June 27th. And well, they, they're so great because they play so they many play different things. They play oldies, yeah. and the whole audience is up dancing. You can bring your kids, bring a, a lounge chair or, or a folding chair or a blanket. Um, and then we have fantastic no coolers, food though. vendors. You know, yep, we absolutely. have great food vendors, um, all sorts of different kinds of food. And the best thing is it's free. Yes, and it uh, we have a stage, and so it's it's from like uh, five o'clock to, I guess around nine. Yeah. You know, and uh, well, it it's starts a great turning evening. a little dark, but yep. And then in July, on July 25th, we have Come Back Alice. I, you know, I just love the what name of name? it. It's, it's so cool. And I, I listened to them a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and they are really cool. It's a great rock band. Yeah, so, so Come Back Alice on July the 25th. 
And then on August 22nd, here's another good name. Yeah. Soul Roller Coaster. Solar Coaster. Oh, Solar Coaster. Solar I thought it was Coaster. Solar Coaster. Solar Coaster. Well, that's Solar even better. Coaster, yeah. <laughs> and what do they play? They play a variety of, of popular music. So, and anything you suggest or, rec, or you know, request, they're usually, they usually do it for you. And then our last one is Adrian Ray. He was here a few years ago. <gasps> yes. And he's country. And it's September 26th, ladies, I must tell you, and with sadness in my heart, he's married. But he is very attractive, and his music is just, just amazing. Yeah. And That's we're good. looking forward to having Adrian back. But we've announced our Broadway season. <laughs> Yay! And we're not going to get to, in this segment, to get to all the shows, but let's talk about a few of them. Well, it's a great package. And what did you book this oh, time? This time we did book Jersey Boys. Did and we you know, outdo yourself or I what? I did. And it's a show that most people, well, I shouldn't say that I outdid myself, but I think I did a good job. <laughs> you but, did. Uh, you know, most people have asked for Jersey Boys over every show. And of course, I am a Jersey girl. I even have t shirts mm -hmm. that say Jersey girl, which makes my, my niece and nephew laugh because I'm so. Silly, you and know. of course, I'm a major fan of Frankie Valli and this yes. music, so it's, our theme this year is, is just too good to be true. Just too good to be true. That's the Van Wazel this <laughs> year. <laughs> and that's going to be here for a week in March. Is it March? March 10th through the 15th. 10th through the 15th. Yeah. But we are going to open the season up with Camelot, and this is a new production. And when the pictures, this is what I'm talking about, oh, the handsome yeah, no, guys no. today. The when the handsome guy comes up in. and Lancelot, oh. just wait. You'll want to see it if you've seen it five times. So. I know. So this is November 23rd, right around Thanksgiving time. Yes. It's a Sunday at 7 o'clock. And I guarantee you it's a very hot-looking Lancelot. And it's King Arthur and Guinevere. And, I, you know, I, I was in this musical in college, and I just love it. And then a fun show is... I actually think of you in this show because I, I could see I you this show. dancing. Yep. Smokey Joe's Cafe. It is, and it's a song and dance type celebration. And if even if you've seen Smokey Joe's Cafe, it is featuring the coasters yeah, this year. Which makes it extra special. Which makes it extra special, absolutely. And they have some fun songs with it. And they have girls I mean, wearing these shim shimmy dresses. Yeah. And I always think of you, Julia, oh, in that shim shimmy thanks. dress. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's December third at eight o'clock. And then our last show in December is Guys and Dolls. And of course, I could, but I won't, sing you all the songs from Guys and <laughs> Dolls. be oh, a lady. <laughs> yeah, our audience out there is saying, please do. Please. Well, I, I was singing one song <laughs> or please to them, don't, but right? it was the number one country hit, and they couldn't even, they, they didn't even think it was a song. So I'm not <laughs> embarrassing myself. But Luck Be Your Lady tonight, that's December the 30th, yeah. 8 p.m. And when we come back, we are going to have a wonderful guest from the New Comfort Suites, who are the sponsors of our MOVE show in June. And then in our third segment, we'll talk a little bit more about our Broadway orchestra and dance. And we'll be right back. Did you know City of Sarasota drinking water is very safe? Tested every two hours. Delivered right to your house much more affordable than bottled water. Environmentally friendly. And it tastes good. City of Sarasota Water. Safe, affordable, environmentally friendly. Welcome back to At the Van Wazel. As I promised, I have our wonderful guest, Nick Mavrikas. Wow, I got that name out. I'm very <laughs> excited. And Nick is the general manager of the New Comfort Suites. Welcome. Thank you. Great we are so here. grateful to you. You've sponsored a couple of shows here, you know, in the past. Yanni and a co-sponsor of another show. And um, Vince Gill. How could I forget Vince Gill? He was an amazing show, was it, it was not? was wonderful, wonderful. Oh, and he had Amy Grant, and they were just in, incredible. And Vince is coming back next year with the Time Jumpers. I, I don't know if you happened to hear him say that. On I did. Stage. He mentioned that on that evening. Yeah. yeah and I, I was in Nashville and saw them and they were great. 
but you're also sponsoring probably the hottest show of the year here, the Move Live show, which is on tour with Juliana Huff and Derek Huff. Excited. That is exciting. When I saw the ad, I couldn't wait to be a part of it. Oh, I know. I mean, <laughs> they, they look amazingly gorgeous, and I can't wait to meet them. I've seen Derek dance on Broadway, and of course, Julianne, after her American Idol tour, you know, uh, uh, excuse me, not American Idol, uh, but Dancing with the Stars, you know, she went on to be a movie star, too. But let's, let's talk about your hotel. Where is it located? Uh, we're located on the corner of Clark Road and Honoré. Um, oh, that's a great location. Yep, we're behind the uh, Walgreens and uh, next to the BMW dealership. Now, I noticed it said it's an all-suites hotel. What does that mean? All the rooms are suites. So they have two queen-size beds or one king-size bed in the bedroom area. Um, and then it has a partial division, a dividing wall that has an L-shaped sectional sofa. Uh, so you have a separate area for sitting and enjoying your downtime so you're not laying on a bed eating your dinner. Right. And, uh, you know, work area, separate bathroom, refrigerator. So if you had kids with you, could you? A room can accommodate up to six people comfortably. Wow, that's um, great. And then, you know, offer a hot breakfast each morning, heat a swimming pool, jacuzzi, and all the other So what amenities. more could they ask for? Yeah, it's a home away from home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a breakfast thrown in, that sounds fantastic. Exactly. So that's Clark and Honoré. And do you have a website that people? Sure, it's uh, comfortsuitesarasota.com. And uh, our local telephone number, of course, of 941-554-4475. And this is great for you folks because any of you that are coming to see MOVE, because people are coming from all over in Florida because it's not playing in many places. And also, um, we've announced the American Idol Tour, and people will be coming from all over because they're only playing three places in Florida, wow. three or four. Well, and the great thing is we're only five miles from Siesta Key Beach, so you kind of wow. get both the best worlds. You can come see a great show, a great hotel and enjoy the beach at Makes the for time. a good weekend it away, does. It does. doesn't it? Because, sure does. I, you know, sometimes as much as we live in paradise, we feel a little bit like, oh my gosh, you know, because people think from up north that we're on the beach every day. <laughs> and, and I finally went to the beach last weekend after a long time, and we had to leave because the love bugs went, they swarmed. I was like in a sci-fi movie. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to know you're only five miles away. Yes, thank so you. So you... You're, you have a family too, don't you? I do. I have uh, three children, uh, 13, 11, and 9. And, you must be busy. Uh, and been married 15 years. So, yeah, I stay uh, You don't pretty... look old enough. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, I stay very busy, you know, between cheerleading and softball. And you baseball. cheerlead? Not me. Not anymore. No. My, uh, my uh, middle daughter does. Yeah, does she? So. Did she? Did you bring her to see Bring It On? Oh yes, her, my wife, did and she love a couple it? of their friends. Absolutely. I know that what they did on stage was amazing. Yeah. It was a but long show too. It was a long show, <laughs> but you know, at least it was a happy one. Yeah. You know. So you also worked in Miami, and it's one of my favorite little segments of the hotel business in a boutique hotel. Yeah, yeah. I ran a property in South Beach um, for about three and a half years. Um, it was, uh, you know, first in Collins, so it was right in the heart of South Beach. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, right by Ocean. Not Boulevard. for the best to to raise a couple of children though. No, I commuted all the time. So Did my you? wife and family stayed here and I went back and forth weekly. Um, and it was a great opportunity, but at the end of the day, it was time to uh, come back home and, and be a part of the family and, and be here full time. So that's when the Comfort Suites was being built. and. Uh, and that's when I joined that company. Well, that's great because Comfort Suites have a uh, number of our companies have stayed there and they love it and they really enjoy the the amenities and you know it's nice to have a pool on the property and and then you go to the beach. Yes, absolutely. And, and it if overlooks the love a nice bugs lake. Comes, you come back. Yeah, you come back. <laughs> yeah. So, do you run any specials for local people? Or um, we do have some different things. It changes, you know, weekly, monthly. So I recommend anybody local just to call the hotel and ask for our local specials. We also have coupons out there and different uh, travel guides. Um, and then we're going to have some great specials available to anybody that attends the show um, in June. Oh, great! Um, that'll be a part of our flyer that we'll put out. That's fantastic because you know I think that's really wonderful, especially you know for people coming up from Fort Myers or you know across the state because the show's only playing a few places. So Wonderful. that should be great. So we want to make sure we link you onto our website. So folks, if you're buying tickets, you know, also look for Nick's Hotel. I'm, I, I was going to try to say your name again, Mavericas. And uh, before we go, though, you also work, you're an experienced ho hotelier. I hope that's the correct. Mm, works. Yeah. <laughs> um, you worked for Hilton as well? Yeah, I started in 97 in Sarasota. I mean, I uh, was a part of the New Hampton Inn. It was built at Clark or at um, Bee Ridge and Cattlemen back mm -hmm. then. Um, opened the Hilton Garden Inn by the airport uh, a few years later. So worked for a couple companies here locally. And uh, it's, that's it's a wonderful. great experience. And, you know, it's, it's so always are you, exciting. are you full um, a lot of the time at the Comfort Suites? We've had a great year. We've been open a year, so we're brand new, number one on TripAdvisor, which is you know, oh, that's very, fantastic. Very impressive when you figure 47 major hotels in Sarasota and we're number one. Um, How did you do that? Just uh, great service, great staff, <laughs> and people love the hotel. And Nick. 
and Nick. Everybody loves Nick. And it's brand new, you know, so that's always the <laughs> and, key. And sponsoring a Van Wazel show. And, How, and what more could you ask Many more for? to come, we hope. So. <laughs> well, but we've had a great you. year. We've uh, had some great clients. We, we teamed up with the Orioles this past year and did a oh, lot good. of business with them. And uh, we're very active in the sports community, so we continue to just keep growing. Now we're being a part of the arts. So. That is wonderful. So everybody, please tell your family that's coming across the state to see all the shows to come stay with Nick at the Comfort Suites. And thank you so much thank for being for with us. Me. Thank you. And we'll be back in just a minute. And welcome back to At The Van Wazel, where we were talking about, in our first segment, our Broadway season, and the next show is Sister Act. Oh, and that was such a great show, I thought. It was fantastic. The movie was fun, but I thought live on stage was even better. And, and some of the parts with the nuns is oh, just hysterical. But anyway, that's, that's an early show for us. It's January 4th, and it's on a Sunday. And um, you may think you heard that it was on January 7th, but it's moved its date. You heard wrong. You heard wrong, <laughs> even though you heard it from us. <laughs> and then we go right from the nunnery to flash dance. <laughs> what kind of segue is that? I know, right? And everybody's yeah. going to ask, is the water scene? The water yes. is there. The water I've seen is the there. Water. I've seen the show. We've seen the show. We saw the water. We saw the water. <laughs> they, they, you know, they were telling this, you know, when they were trying out the show, they did the water and it knocked the poor dancer off the stage. Oh, no. So <laughs> they had to, you know, make it a little less. But a little trickly. Flashdance is a, a show about, you know, it takes place in Pittsburgh, where I went to grad oh. school. It's, it's really the season of my life. It you is, know, Philadelphia, it? Pittsburgh, you know, Jersey. But anyway, um, uh, it takes place in Pittsburgh. And this is a woman that's working as a steel worker. And she wants to be a professional ballet dancer. And she wants to go work for the Pittsburgh Ballet, where I worked. So, um, <laughs> And, and it's all about her being, you know, at night she's a dancer in a bar, you know, and, uh, and the, the songs, you know, What a Feeling and Flash yeah. Dance and Maniac. It's invigorating. And that'll be here for two nights. And then another cool show. I don't know, did you see Peter and the Star Catcher on Broadway? I haven't seen it, but I know the, the book was written by Dave Barry or one of oh, the yeah, and Dave Barry. And he is, is you know, me being from Miami, I used to follow Dave Barry all the time. He's a Pulitzer Prize winner also. Yes, and I saw the show on Broadway, and it's, a, it's really fun. It's a prequel to, um, to Peter Pan. And the way they do it, I mean, a when you see. A swashbuckling sequel. And there's music in it. There's music. Yeah. It's a play with music. And they, it's really very funny. And, and you're going to be delighted with Peter and the Star Catcher. And then we move to Jekyll and Hyde, one of my favorite musicals. A serious one. A serious one about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And has some amazing songs. And that is on March 5th. And followed very quickly by are you going to sing any of the songs from Jersey Boys? It's just too good to be true. Well, yes. I think I've sung them That's all. Enough. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. Thank you very much for coming, right? Thank you very much, Richard Hurry. <laughs> um, and then we end our Broadway series with Anything Goes, which was a, just on an amazing revival oh, on Broadway. I love that show. And that's March 16th. And then we have some specials. Jules, tell us about Ballroom with a Twist. Well, Ballroom with a Twist is going to be quite fun. It's going to have some dancing with the Stars fans. It's so you think you can dance, um, not just fans, but stars. Yeah. From Ballroom. It wouldn't be fun watching the shows with <laughs> the fans dancing, would it? The fans will be, be like watching. You and me dancing. No, don't pay attention to her. Yeah. It's with the, the professionals. <laughs> and then we have 106 Years of Broadway, which is Neil Berg's fantastic review of the greatest Broadway hits on February 5th. And Memphis is coming back. coming back. It sold out so fast this year that people didn't have a chance to get tickets. So that is coming back on April 4th. And then also making a return appearance is Rain, the show with the Beatles, which really isn't just the Beatles. It is all about the generation and, yes. and all that went on. 
But let's move quickly to our dance series. Yes. And we have Le Ballet Trocadero. The trocs. <laughs> the trocs. These are men that dance en point. And uh, I think very we, funny. It's very funny. And we have two camera operators that do our show that I think <laughs> would be perfect in that show. And I'm going to sign them up. <laughs> I'm really going to lobby for that. And that's February 4th. And then we have another dancing show. There have been a lot of these because they're so popular. And this is called Dancing Pros Live. And it's a little different because, well, Karina Smirnoff, who is one of the favorites, yes. um, is going to be in that show. And Alan Thick. Not I Robin, remember Alan Not Thicke. Robin, sadly, his but dad. Alan, his dad, and many of you know Alan Thicke because he did a bunch of television shows and he yeah. was fantastic, he's going to be the host. And that's February 16th, but the cool thing is there are going to be different couples, not fans, but professionals <laughs> dancing. And hopefully you fans will be there. And the fans will be voting. You'll have an electronic <laughs> yeah. thing that you'll get to pick the winner that's of the That's kind contest. of an exciting thing. And then our favorite dance company, Alvin Ailey will be back. They'll be here on February 17th. They're also going to do a school time show for the kids. And then the Russian National Ballet's Gala. Now, what that means, it sounds kind of weird, but it's March the 3rd. But, you know, you go to these ballets, and what do you want to see? You want to see the big, gorgeous pas de deux. So this one has it all. It has the pas de deux from Swan Lake, from Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, um, Romeo and Juliet. So it's like all these famous, famous dances that you come, you know, you can't wait right. to see the Nutcracker and see the Sugar Plum Fairy. And that is what this show is. So you get all the good stuff from all the different ballets. In one show. In one show. And then orchestra, Cincinnati Pops. Cincinnati Pops, Pops yeah. With our favorite Brian Stokes Mitchell. And you're excited about that. Well, you know, I saw Brian Stokes on Broadway. Man of, uh, Man of La Mancha, Ragtime, I believe he won the Tony. Yes. Um, and it's a holiday concert, and that is in December. And then uh, we have the St. Petersburg State Symphony. And you might have seen something that sounded the same this year, but this is the official Russian orchestra. And I'm not even going, that Vladimir Land is the conductor. And I'm going to have to say that the soloist's name is Miss Wang because. Yeah. <laughs> Her, and she's young. She's, she's very young, young. And her first name is X-I-A-Y-N. So um, I'm not going to even attempt it, yeah. but that's January 8th. And followed up by... The Boston Pops. With Keith Coming Lockhart. back with Keith Lockhart. Everybody loves that. And on February 6th. February and then we 6th. have specials for that. We have the Celtic Thunder. Celtic Thunder has been here a number of times. It's coming back on November 20th. This time it's a holiday show. But and with a full symphony. With a full symphony orchestra. So yes. it is going to be amazing. So um, that show is already actually on single ticket sales. So you can call us up, 953-3368, and buy tickets or go to the website. And then also on a special is Itzhak Perlman, the greatest violinist yes. alive. And Salute to Vienna coming back for 13th, 14th year yes. on January 3rd. But and everybody loves it. Oh, my God. We saw it's it. Fabulous. You and we I saw it together it this year. year. It, was yeah, it was great. It was fabulous. And you could buy the whole orchestra series for as low as $90. Um, you can get 15% on. Or if you buy all the specials, too, you get 20% off. And then in Broadway, we've broken it down to the first half of the year is Broadway 1, where um, you get a 15% discount. Or Broadway 2, the second half of the year. Also a 15%, or you buy the entire Broadway yep. series, it's 20%. All nine shows for, uh, it's, 20, it's a great excellent. deal. 20%. And then um, if you just want to pick and choose your Broadway shows, because you know you may be out of town or you're not coming down, uh, so sure. you can pick and choose four or more and get a 10% discount. And how do, how do you order these subscriptions, Jules? Well, you can go to the box office, you can mail them in. Um, our brochure will, be, will already have dropped. Um, and you'll see the brochure and you'll online. see the brochure online so I mean and you can call the box office and then they'll be be available online once the um, June 5th is after the um, so after June 5th subscriptions will be available online but before then you can look at the brochure call us for one or call the box office and that number is 953-3368 so we covered a lot of ground today American Idol move all of Friday Fest announcing three series, and then I'm working furiously on getting all the stars together because we're going to have another star-studded year. Um, it turns out we had a fantastic season this year, and so I just want to tell you how proud and how honored Julia and I both are to be here working at the Van Wezel, and we will be seeing you very soon.